What's up, guys? Extreme close up! Whoa! Whoa! Today, we're going to talk about this little, or these little doohickeys. Uh, these are a throat lock system from a company called Heisler Solutions. They are 3D printed. Uh, it comes in two pieces that you install into the handle on both ends. This piece goes up at the top um, to connect the head to the handle. You connect or you attach it inside the shaft with epoxy so it's permanent. This part goes in the butt end and it's the tool, a little Allen wrench to tighten and loosen your head. So you've always got your tool with you, which is handy. It's a cool idea. Um, we're gonna install it into this Wolf Athletics U1 handle um, and this Wolf Athletics head. I don't remember what this head is called. It's not the recon, right? Can you even get Wolf stuff anymore? Is Wolf still around? I, I don't know. I haven't kept up with it. I do remember liking this handle though. Um, pretty cool handle. The U2 was the, the burly one. Anywho, so we're going to install this. I'll, uh, I'll have my camera set up so you can see what I'm doing, see how the process works, and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, let's go. All right, let's see what we got here. So you're supposed to dump out half the epoxy mix it together right, because you use one half on the top part of the handle and one part on the bottom Roxy be cool all right so we're going for it Let's try to split it in half Mixing up until it's a uniform color like that. Now it's a real hot day, so this epoxy is going to set up very quickly. Um, so let's take the screw out, I'm pretty sure. Slide that over. Bring in our handle. Uh, we want to apply to this uh, 45 degree angle and on the inside of the handle uh, you just have to make sure you line it up with the hole so let's go thin layer obviously epoxy can get real messy real fast that's not really that thin but I think it'll be okay you want to keep it away from the from the threads Find the hole, slide it in. Okay, now I'm gonna make sure it's lined up right. You know what, I'm ditching the gloves. Probably a bad idea. And I'll just get that tightened up. I read the instructions uh, briefly. All right, so now what I'm going to do is kind of um, just add a little bit of epoxy in there to kind of go over this, the, where it connects. Avoiding the threads. Yeah, that's good. So that'll set up nicely in there. Now I'm going to take the rest of the epoxy. Kind of that went real fast. So even though it's it's almost 100 degrees outside, probably 80 in here. It's not going to set up that fast. So we don't have to worry too much. 
give it a little stir. Same thing, obviously you have to be a little less careful here uh, because there are no threads. But you don't want to overdo it because this stuff will get everywhere. All right, so now I guess this can be oriented in any direction. It's a little, it's a little sideways in there. Like this is the top. I wonder if it's narrower or shaped a little differently at the bottom of this handle. Could totally be, and that's not a big deal. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of extra stuff inside there where they connect oh that's got to go in further though so you need to go in far enough to where the um, the tool isn't going to stick out all right cool so that's that and here's this end sure that's seated properly. Oh yeah, that's in there good. Just a little extra around the edges here. So we want that thing stuck in there pretty well. Beauty. All right, now I'm just gonna let that dry a little bit and then throw the head back on. And then once this is dry, I'll put the, the a little wrench back in there, put the butt end back on, and we're in business. All right, it's a little while later. Um, to actually use this, you want they say you want to wait about 24 hours for it to completely set. But I think we can at least get this on. All right, so here we go. We're going to slide that sucker on there. Take our little Allen key. Is it an Allen key or an Allen wrench? I don't know. I don't care. All right, so then we'll just spin this sucker on there. Looks like I like this. Crank it down. It's on there tight. Beauty. Sure, this is dry enough to push this in. Oh yeah. Okay, then we take this. So there's a uh, three, five, maybe uh, maybe three holes to put this in. Just give it a little push, like so. Whoa. All right, so we've got our Allen wrench in there, um, all set up for when we want to remove the head. So we'll put a little tape on it. So you, you know, if you use this, you you'll want to keep a roll of tape in your in your bag, which you really should have anyway. Maybe a couple rolls of tape. You could be the tape guy in your team, which is so annoying. Everyone always wants tape. I spend like $50 on tape every season. All right. Good enough. All right, beauty, we are in business. All right, guys, that's it. It is all installed. The Allen wrench is safely secure in here. The throat lock is up here doing its job. It's hard to see everything from out here, but, you know, it's in there doing doing good stuff. Um, these things are like 12 bucks, 13 bucks, something like that. Go check the link in the description if you want to get one or two or three. Um, you know, if your handle breaks, I, I'm guessing, you know, epoxy is tough, but you can, you can break the seal. You could get it out of an old handle or a broken handle, put it into a new one. Uh, might take a little work, but you know, if you don't want to spend another 12 bucks every time you're setting up a new handle, you could probably reuse it. Might take a little finagling, but it can be done. Um, anyway, cool product. Uh, Heisler, 
I can't, I can't remember the guy's first name. I'm sure Heisler's is probably probably his last name, but good idea, nice innovation. Um, it takes about five minutes to install, not a big deal. Uh, I'm usually pretty messy with epoxy, but this went pretty smoothly. I didn't get it everywhere, which is nice. Um, so if I could do it, you guys could do it. Cool solution. You know, we hate the head wobble, so it's nice to have different uh, different options to keep that stuff locked in place. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video.